My name is Daryl Andrews, I'm co-owner of Walking Pants in downtown Memphis. This has been a couple of weeks, I think. It really has. And I know by looking at y'all and just hearing what my friends and family uh, currently going through, uh, people that work for people, people that own businesses, restaurants, what do you say in a time like this? I think the first thing that I want to tell you is do not fear. We have no reason to fear. And I'm, I'm going to show you why. Because no good David story leaves out Goliath. You can't have a David and Goliath without a giant. So what I'm here to tell you is this is your giant. What you're facing, what you're experiencing right now, the loneliness, the uncertainty, the I don't know what's fixing to happen, it is in front of you and it's your giant. And there's victory in that place. See, when David showed up that morning, all he was doing was bringing his brother's lunch. Let me say that again. When the David and Goliath story started, all he was doing was bringing his brother's lunch for that day how many of you woke up a week or so ago and all you were doing was preparing lunch all you were doing was preparing lunch for others your kids your customers and then suddenly there was a giant in front of you see that's the difference if in these moments we decide it doesn't matter what the people beside to our left and to our right, those in front and those behind are doing. We worry about where we are and what we're dug into. And I don't need your armor and I don't need your sword because I got my stuff, my purpose, my time is now, just like yours is. It's now. Your giant's in front of you and you have a choice. You can either run from it you can do what the rest of the army of Israel did and said, I ain't going out there. Or what you can do is you can say, I'll fight the giant. It takes guts to do that. It takes guts to stand in the place that you're standing right now and looking forward throughout a sea of uncertainty, a sea of doubt, a sea of fear that is just pouring down on you. And to say, I woke up this morning expecting to do nothing but make sandwiches for somebody and I got to fight a giant. Here's the thing, you're not alone because what David did not know is that although he woke up that morning with the purpose of giving somebody sandwiches, he was anointed to be king. And I see y'all, I see y'all hustling, I see you grinding, I see you refusing to give up. I see you. I see people like Johnson I, that that a week ago had to decide in three days how to change the face of education. That's a giant. And you did it. So many of you are health care workers facing a giant. We are facing a giant. But here's the thing. We are not sandwich delivery people. We are kings and queens. We are created for this moment. This is our time right now. I haven't had time to do what it was that I wanted to do the rest of my life. I just don't have time. Isn't that our excuse all the time? The reason that we're made, the reason that we're created, the reason that we are designed the way that we are individually, each one of us with our, our unique purposes, our unique pains, the storms and the valleys and the, and the just aches and groans of our soul that we've had to go through, those miseries, they are forging us for this moment. They are forging you for this moment. There is a giant across the field from you that does not think that you will step out onto the battlefield. And let me tell you, you are equipped. You have what you need. You can stand up. You can defeat this thing and you are not alone. That's the last thing I want to tell you. You are not alone alone in this moment. You have purpose. You have heart. You have a vision. There's a creator God who will show up in your moment of need. 
do not fear. Do not fear. You were created for now.